Hey there, and welcome to the last video in this video series. In this video, we're going to be going over HTTP requests, CSRF, and kind of just wrapping a few things up. So the request that we want to go over is once somebody submits a form from your application, then you want to be able to handle that request and handle the input that has been sent. So let's go ahead and go back to our example application, and we will go into app, HTTP, and our routes.php. Okay, and let's just create a simple route and just call this form. And we are just going to return a view called form. So then we will need to go to our resources, views, and create a new file. And inside here, we're just going to put a form with an action that is going to go to a route just called post to me. And it is going to be a post method. And then inside here, we'll just have a simple text input with the name of name. And we'll give it a placeholder as well. Enter name. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to enter a hidden input type. And we need to give this a name of underscore token. And the value is going to be, this is a helper function brought to us by Laravel, which is called CSRF underscore token. And this is called the CSRF token, and the CSRF token stands for cross-site request forgery. So it protects you from other sites trying to post to your route. Uh, basically, it's a token that then on the server side, it will try and match it and confirm that it's a match. And I will show you how to turn this off, um, but it is very handy for security, and you would probably want to include this in most of your applications. So then we also need input type equals submit. So this is going to be a submit button. And then we will close the form. And we need to save this as form.blade.php. And let me save my routes.php. And let's try and hit that route. So localhost 8000 slash form. And sure enough, we have our form. So now we need to create our route that gets posted to. Get post to me. And this will need to be a route post. So let's save that and let's just echo out hit here just to make sure that we are submitting to that location. So okay, so we have hit here. So we want to be able to capture the data that I just put in that, that text field. So what we'll need to do is we will need to use the illuminate HTTP request library. And you can find out about this on the Laravel documentation. If you scroll down, it tells you exactly how to use it. Use Illuminate HTTP request right here. So then we will pass to this route request, request. So you can see in here we can get request input name. And then it will give us the name right here. So let's just copy that, paste it, and then just say echo you entered and name. So let's save that and let's go back to our form and I will just enter my name and submit and class okay and if I knew how to spell correctly then that would have worked. So let's reload that page and sure enough we get you entered Tony Lee. Let's add a space right here. Let's reload Okay, so that's exactly what we wanted. We entered the name in the form, and then we requested the input. We requested the name input, and then we displayed it on the screen. So if we go back in here into the documentation, you can see exactly how to use it all. Uh, you could also do uh, request all, which would give you all of the data. It tells you how to retrieve input, name. You can actually have a default value if you would like. Um, so you could do here request all. Let me go ahead and show you an example of that. So let's say request all and then let's call this input and let's just use a print r function just to print out all the data inside of input so let's save that go back here let's reload 
and now we have the name Tony Lee and we have our token here so if we had a bunch of other things like if we had name um, address uh, city state zip it would we would be able to capture all of that by using the request all so that is the basics about the request that I wanted to show you and the final thing is the CSRF token I spoke to you a little bit about it just in all of your forms you need to include this underscore token but uh, let's say for some reason that you did not want to use that or you don't want to use that in your app if we save this and let's go back to our example so now if I submit I get a token mismatch exception so if we wanted to we could go into our app HTTP and our kernel.php and you can see that we have all of our middleware here that is added by default so what we could do is we could just comment out this verify CSRF token so if we save that and we go back to form test and now I submit then sure enough we have the name test so you can easily remove that CSRF protection if you want but I do recommend keeping it in your application so that is the basics of Laravel 5 uh, there's a lot that we didn't go over and that's just because we wanted to keep the videos kind of to a minimum and just get you kick started with learning Laravel I would recommend going over to laravel.com slash docs and reading through all the docs uh, this is an amazing framework I have built so many cool things on it and I plan to build a bunch more and I hope throughout this video series you've learned enough to create an awesome Laravel application yourself